Hi everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn about this. Okay, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn how to add variants in your Shopify store in 2020. All right, so I'm gonna show how you can do this. So you can add size, so small, medium, large, and we can add colors, red, and when I click on blue, you will see that uh, the blue t-shirt image will appear. All right, we can also uh, add materials. So we got cotton, and if you check the price, we now have $150, and if I choose wool, we will have $200. So we can change the price depending on material, uh, sizes and things like that. Okay, so let's go and add variants to a product. Just go to the back end. Okay, so now go to uh, this one. Products in the left sidebar. Okay. And just click on the product you want to add variants on. Go down to this one, variants. So this product has multiple options like different sizes or colors. Just check this uh, check mark. So now we can add options. So now we can add option one. We got size, color, material, style and title. Okay, we're gonna choose size. Let's go to the next uh, input field and separate options with a comma. So we're gonna add small, add comma, medium, comma, large, comma, like so. After that, we're gonna go and add another option, color. We're gonna choose red, separate with comma, and blue, separate with comma, like so. You can add more if you like. And after that, we're gonna add another option, material, and we're gonna use cotton, separate with comma, and wool, separate with comma, okay? Okay, so now go down, and we're not gonna change this right now. First, we're gonna save it. Let's go down and click on save. Like so. Now we can go down and change these information. So as you can see, we have size, color, material, price, quantity, SKU, all right? And what we want to do now is uh, we can bulk change all of these. Instead of go one by one and change everything. So let's say we want to have a different price for the wool. Just choose all the wools, like so, okay, and after that we're gonna go and add more actions, click on edit prices, okay, now we can edit prices right here or apply a price to all variants. So let's say you want to sell the wool uh, t-shirts for $250. After that, just click on apply to all. Okay, everything is changed and click on done. Like that, fast and easy. And now we can add an image to maybe the red t-shirt. Just choose all of the red t-shirts. Like so, and click on more actions. Click on add images. Just uh, upload a new image or click on an image that you already have and click on done. And now we have red images on all the red t-shirts. Just do the same thing with the blue t-shirts. Like so. Click on more actions. Click on add images. And choose your image. Click on done. Like so. Now we have an image for each t-shirt. Okay, so now make sure to save this before we make any other changes. Click on save right here in the top right corner. Like so. 
After that we have quantities. As you can see, all the t-shirts are set to zero. So you can change all by clicking on this. If you have the same quantities on all your t-shirts, the sizes, the colors, or you can set one by one right here, like so. Okay, I'm gonna do all. After that, I'm gonna click on more actions. I'm gonna click on edit quantities. And same thing right here. Apply a quantity to all variants. So let's say I have uh, 20 pieces each. Click on apply to all. And of course you can change the quantities right here. Maybe you have uh, 30 large red cotton. After that click on save. Like so. And now we can see the quantities right here. And as you can see we have two zeros. That's because I didn't check them right here. We can just change it right here quickly. Like so. Go up and click on save. Alright, so that's it. Uh, let's go to the store and have a look. Update the browser. Okay. We have uh, small, medium, large. We have color, red, blue. Uh, with a switch of the image. And we have the price 200 for cotton and uh, 250 for wool. Alright. And if you want to reorder the size, color and material, we can do that. Just go back to the back end of this product and click on more options right here. Click on reorder variants. And now we can maybe have the size under color. So just click on these uh, six dots and drag it where you want to have it, like so. And same thing with uh, these, the options. We can change the position of red and blue. And same thing with small, medium, and cotton and wool. All right. When you are satisfied, just click on save. And we can go back to the product and click on update browser. And now you can see that we have color. Blue, red, size, small, medium, large, and material, wool, cotton. Okay, everyone. So this is how you can add variants to your Shopify store products in 2020. I hope this helped. Okay, everyone. So I hope this video helped you out. If you like this one and want more of these videos, you can subscribe right here in the corner. You can also check out my latest video right here. Just click on this image. And I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and bye.